through how to submit your website to Yahoo's Bing Webmaster 2. Yes, I did say Bing. <laughs> yes, even though it's older, but you still have a third of online traffic who are just using Bing. You got a lot of the older customers who are just using Yahoo and money is money. So you better be submitting your website to Bing Webmaster Tools. You don't wanna miss out on those customers. So submitting your website to Bing Webmaster Tools is a must. Now, you're either, you can log in two ways. You can either, you're gonna need a Microsoft email account or Bing will also let you log in using your Gmail account. So let's get to it. Okay, so you're going to be going to either your, your your Google browser or either your internet browser, whichever one you're using, and type in Bing Webmaster Tools. It should already populate well. Webmaster, I'm misspelling that. Right there. Click on it. And click Bing Webmaster Tools. And I'm already signed in. Well, no, no, I'm not. Um, click Google. I'm going to sign in through Google. And you it should bring you to a screen like this. Now, one thing I will tell you before we get started. Submitting your web your, your website to Bing Webmaster Tools could be a little more difficult because sometimes adding the meta tag to your head on your website it may not even work so sometimes it's just best to upload it in your actual C panel so let's get to it type in your website I'm messing up <laughs> see you okay and click add. Now you do want to make sure that you also add a sitemap if you already don't have one already and you can look at another video that I already did on how to create a sitemap. And you can also add this sitemap later on too after we submit the website. You want to make sure you complete this information about me your first name, last name, uh, make sure that whatever email you're using, your job role, your company, your company organization, the industry you're in. Make sure you select that, your contact information, and if this information is from your business, you wanna make sure you put that information on there, the address, the country, which some of you are United States, but, you can also select other countries too, right here. It's used in other countries. And this right here, if you're an agency and not a site owner, you select that, but I'm sure most of you are site owners that are actually watching this video. And if you want Bing to call you and email you to try to sell you something, you make sure you select that or they may just get in touch with you when something goes wrong with your website and it's asking you how how much communication you want whether it's daily or weekly or monthly it's asking you about alerts if there is something wrong with your crawl errors site maps index issues malware being would actually contact you just like Google would contact you. So let's go ahead and fill in this information and I'm going to just put in just anything. But you put in your correct information. Job role, just say, well, master. company I'm going to just make something up just showing you how it's done just say uh, well Web Webster <laughs> Webster company size um, you probably just just enter one contact phone 
just enter a contact phone. Your city, make up a city, state, or whatever province, if you're from another country. Zip code, whatever your zip code is, or whatever postal code, if you're from another country, select your country. I'm going to find United States. And I'm not going to check that because if you're not an agency, you don't check that, you're a site owner. I'm going to make sure I check that because I do want Bing to alert me and click save. Now, this brings you to the meta tags. Now, remember I told you sometimes this does not always work. What we're going to do is copy this. I'm going to show you two ways just in case it doesn't work because sometimes we just have to download this and just upload it to your cPanel. Go to your actual WordPress website because you're going to need to be in your actual WordPress admin dashboard in order to do this. Click on appearance and click editor because we're going to be entering this in the head session. And what we're going to do is find header theme header header.php is going to go in that file and we're going to we don't want to put it in this one so make sure you don't select that one with the slash you're going to be selecting the actual head and we can just put it up under the google under google's meta tag and let's see if this is going to work because it doesn't work all the time for some reason. Click update file. And now go back to your webmaster tool. Let's just see if it works. Click verify. You see what I told you? Sometimes it doesn't work. You see where it says Bing could not verify ownership of this website? So it doesn't work as easy as Google. So. What I'm going to do is show you a different way. You will need to log in to your cPanel, your actual hosting cPanel in order to do this. And as always, make sure you back up your website. So we're going to scroll down and find file manager. Make sure the website you selected, the one you're working on and show hidden files is selected. Click go. And what we're going to do we're going to actually upload this, the, the meta tag to your cPanel. First, go back to your webmaster tool, your Bing webmaster tool. And what we're going to do at the top, from the bottom, you want to scroll to the top and you want to download this Bing site authorization. You want to download it and we're going to upload it. Now go back to your website. Now going back to your actual cPanel, that's what I meant, your cPanel. Going back to your cPanel, click upload. And what we want going to do, click choose file, and you're going to find the bank file that you just downloaded. It's probably in downloads. You're going to find that. Click on it, click open. and it's already completed. Now just go back, click go back. And you should see it downloaded, here it is here. Now let's go back to Bing and just make sure it has verified. Okay, we're back on Bing. What we're going to do is you want to just make sure it loads. Make sure that meta tag is showing up. Make sure it loads. And let's click verify now. You should verify. And now it takes you to your actual Bing dashboard. And you can go ahead and do 
a lot more things in here now. But remember I told you sometimes adding a meta tag into your actual WordPress admin head section in your actual website, it doesn't work all the time. So you will have to go and upload it to your cPanel when that happens. And that's all you will have to do. See you in the next video.